Most of the epidemics in Western Europe appear to be stable or declining. Although numbers are low, we see worrying upward trends in Africa, Central and South America, and Eastern Europe. Most countries are still in the early stages of their epidemics. And some that were affected early in the pandemic are now starting to see a resurgence in cases. Make no mistake, we have a long way to go. This virus will be with us for a long time. There is no question that stay-at-home orders and other physical distancing measures have successfully suppressed transmission in many countries. But this virus remains extremely dangerous. Early evidence suggests most of the world's population remain susceptible. That means epidemics can easily reignite. One of the greatest dangers we face now is complacency. People in countries with stay-at-home orders are understandably frustrated with being confined to their homes for weeks on end. People understandably want to get on with their lives because their lives and livelihoods are at stake. That's what WHO wants to, and that's what we're working for all day, every day. But the world will not and cannot go back to the way things were. There must be a new normal, a world that's healthier, safer, and better prepared. The same public health measures we have been advocating since the beginning of the pandemic must remain the backbone of the response in all countries. Find every case, isolate every case, test every case, care for every case, dress and quarantine every contact, and educate, engage, and empower your people. The fight cannot be effective without empowering our people and without full participation of our people.